right, everybody, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Get ready for the most intense ride of your life. We're going to be touring the hospital. So over the last few days, this is what I've been working on and recapping everybody else's work. Um, so anyways, went ahead and pulled in this fire alarm wire down this one and a half inch pipe. Um, had to splice it because we thought the panel was in here, but it's actually down in the basement. So went ahead and added some terminal blocks right here. Did a little splice right here and then pushed this wire down with a fish tape down through the floor, which goes downstairs into one of the electrical rooms um, where we've done some shutdowns before. Um, so here is that pipe, the that pipe right there. That is the one with the wire coming out. So much wire. Um, so there is this whalebone uh, cable tray. So ran our wire down there. Um, and then heading to the right, the panel is over here, and there is like a, I think it's like a one inch or a three quarter chase. So took the wire down through there and plopped it right in there and coiled that up for the fire alarm guy and uh, labeled that as well. All right, so back in this room, the occupancy sensors do work. I just walked in here, it was pitch black, lights turned on, didn't touch the light switch. Got these light, switch, these light switches labeled right here. M2 now, 2447, circuit 32. Um, added some support brackets right here because these boxes were just floating there. Um, added some pipe supports and all that good stuff. Um, got a strut nut to hold the box down. Labeled all the covers in here. Every single cover I went around and labeled them except for this one, which is just has no splices in it. Um, so went ahead and added that strut support for that floating box, this strut support for this floating box. Um, I went ahead and moved, um, well, added that strut support for this so we could move this floating receptacle over this location right there. And then uh, piped over here, added another box right there, moved the second cord drop right there for this location right there. So went ahead and got that moved, rewired that, turned off the circuit, wired it, turned it back on, everything's good. Um, also, what did we do? We demoed this old door mag right here. As you can see, the door mag right there, took that off, blanked it off, added a blank plate up there. Also took out the old fire alarm device right there, has, still has some old wire in there, so Label that fire alarm, but we went ahead and took out the jumper from this device to the room next door. Uh, I think they're gonna add four more lights, two more lights on this uh, somewhere. They're gonna add two lights on there. That's what they wanna do. And they wanna add two more lights over on this strut. So we'll just have to uh, add a couple MCs, chain a couple MCs from one light to the next. Um, and then That'll be good. I don't know if we'll have to add another box or just uh, if we'll have enough room in this box, it's getting kind of full or add a third extension would be kind of ridiculous. So I'm thinking maybe add a box and then pull some more wire down to this box um, and maybe down to there if we need to for the other two lights, wherever those are gonna go. So that's the update on the CHR shop. We also got that switch labeled over there, added in these, added in this quadplex right here. Got that labeled. So everything is labeled in here now. Um, yeah, I don't. I did not give you guys an update in here either. Man, there's just so much that happened that I forgot about. So here's the little office right here. Got the light up right here. There is, it's off of the ceiling. So we did like a, what did we do here? We did a, what are they called? Uh, also added the fire alarm right there. Everything in here, fire alarm. Got the switch in right here, got the switch labeled, dimmer switch, on off. Um, so what we did was take a toggle bolt, put a piece of all thread through it, and then sandwiched that between, took the all thread and put a washer, lock washer nut, and then also a little bit down on top of the light. Where's my finger? Um, on top of the light below that, we went ahead and reversed the process and sandwiched washers, lock washers and nuts to hold the light into place. 
because it, it, there's no room to do a, uh, there's no room to do a flush mount because the end caps are higher than the back of the light. So I had to free air it, and then there is the box right there. This little piece of MC. I don't know if you can see that. There's a couple MC90s on the little lighting whip with the dimming wires inside of it. So that's the update. I think that's literally everything in here. Uh, everything is good to go now. Um, I think we're 100% done for now, to my knowledge. Um, let me go show you guys what else I've been working on down in the other uh, room or two. All right, so moving on from there, back into the first room that we demoed in the hospital. Um, so right here, they just tore out this wall. As you can see, they put up a new wall already. Here is where the old wall was. I'll show you here more in a second, but we had to disconnect all this stuff that was hanging to the back side of the wall so they could tear it out. So we got that floating box right there, which was uh, screwed, uh, screwed through to the wall. Another box right there, which was screwed to the wall. As you can see, that pipe going down was for the old switch, switch leg. And then this uh, orange box, I think, was already off the wall, but there was like a pipe strap. But as you can see right here, this gray, grayish line is where the old wall used to be. Um, there was like one and a half, maybe like a foot or a foot and a half. So it was really hard to get up into the ceiling. Had to use a lean safe ladder. Anyways, here is a general overview of the new room. If you remember when I first started doing videos in the hospital, it was demoing this first room right here. And now they totally gutted the whole thing and reframed it. And this is the same room where we had all the flexes in here, um, which we started like a week or two ago. They finally started framing this one out for us. So me and my apprentice will be working in here over the next, I don't know, a few days, week, two weeks, who knows. Um, but hopping back into the inner waiting where we've done a little bit of work. Uh, today we pulled out the, uh, uh, well not today, but I think it was yesterday or something like that. We went ahead and pulled out um, the wire going back to this last junction box. Um, so we got that pulled out. Um, so now we can reuse that pipe um, for when the time comes. And then off a little bit to the right, there is this nightmare of flexes in here. Uh, they did a good job, but there's just so much going on, and I would hate to ever pull wire through that. Um, and then moving on, we got a whole bunch of just box layout for all the patient rooms. There's going to be a whole bunch of, like, copper lines for med gases and stuff like that. So not all the stuff is ours, but obviously the stuff with the wire in the EMT and stuff is all of ours. So there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in each of these rooms. Basically, they're all, like, uh, mirror images of each other, I believe, for the most part, but... I didn't really do any of this layout, all I've really done in this area is fire alarm data um, and demoing some electrical and stuff like that. So anyways, moving on to the old pharmacy, aka the imaging, took down one of those lights over there on the right side and that's where we put that in the CHR shop. Um, as you remember in the new um, office, this, that's one of the lights that we took out. And then moving on to all these pipes, which look so gorgeous, I believe. One of the apprentices did this. I don't know if the journeyman helped him at all, but whoever did it, if it was one of them, both of them, it turned out so gorgeous. Like all the like water flow kicks and everything just looks so good. Something that I have never done and um, it would take me a long time to do that um, if I even knew how. So anyways, it looks really, really good. Um, they've been working on this for a while, setting up the racks, doing all the pipe, all that good stuff. And the, my favorite part right here is i don't even know what you call it but it's like the crisscross which oh it's just so beautiful anyways moving on from there i did do a little bit of work in this corner this used to be the peace room over here um, where they had like a massage chair and whatever but we uh, demoed out some pipes ripped some lighting off of the wall some junction boxes um, also took out a receptacle right there um, as you can see they still have the 277 lighting in there so i might have to come back and take that out later um also took out another receptacle down there fire alarm still has to come out eventually uh, so just a bunch of everything that we've been taking out of this wall at the end of yesterday worked on that um and then also cut out some pipes one out of this red box up there for the critical and also took out another pipe that was uh on a coupling right there so that's pretty much the demo scope of this area right here um, so I'm pretty sure we'll be revisiting this 
um, shortly, but they did, had to do some saw cutting, so just needed to get some stuff out of the way for those guys. Um, back in here, around the corner, um, more of the piping, which looks really nice. Um, obviously, I already said that, but this is some of the back half, which you haven't seen yet. And then this is the whole panel wall right here. Um, nothing really special right here, just a bunch of 90s, but it looks good. Looks all nice and spaced out. And then coming down, this is going to be a whole wall of panels in one of the new hallways. Um, so we'll have to pull a whole bunch of wire into here, get everything basically up and running for basically when the first phase turns over. So we have to do like a whole bunch of stuff in a short amount of time for that. And then moving on down into the new entryway, as you remember, our fire alarm wire right there. And they also started framing out this. And some of the guys have been working down here, um, boxing and piping in this laying out for this area. Uh, so this looks pretty good. Um, you got a whole bunch of switches, receptacles, all that stuff, pulling wire. And this is the one area that I was talking about a few days ago where I said that I did a fire alarm box that I couldn't show you. I'm about to show you right now, so be, be prepared to be amazed. Um, that's not it. Um, it is this red one right there. You'll see it again in a second. But anyways, another, I don't, I don't think this is a patient room, but it kind of looks like it. This is going to be part of the entryway, so I'm assuming it's going to be like a nurse station or something. But anyways, there is the fire alarm box right there that we worked on a couple days ago. And then once again, some more boxes, it looks like for a, a little reception area or something right here. I don't know. I'm haven't been working on this area, so I have no clue, but that's my best guess. Then moving on from there, down in the tunnel level, which I have never shown you guys. Um, two, three, four people have been working down here um, for the last two to four months. Um, they've been working on some feeder pipes. Basically all the underside of those panel rooms, or that panel hallway that I showed you, um, with, all the pipe, with all the pipes coming up and out. This is the un underside of that where... Um, all the underground feeders go to feed those panels um, from like the switch gear or whatever you call that. I'm not sure. But anyways, they have, I believe it looks like, I'm assuming it's two inch, but down from the ground, it looks more like a uh, inch and a half or something like that. So it's got to be an inch and a half, two inch. Maybe it's all three inch. I, I'm not sure. But basically there's just so much stuff in the way. This is some of the pipes they've been working on right here. Those look more of at least like a two inch or three inch. I think they're all three inch. Um, but they've been working on these with like triple nickels and stuff. It looks really, really nice. Um, but just like trying to figure out how they're doing all this is crazy because there's just so much stuff in the way. So they have to use these little baby lifts to get in the tight little areas and then like tie off and stuff and just be super safe with harnesses and all that stuff. So anyways, congrats to them. I wouldn't want to do it. And then moving on into this area and into one of the electrical rooms. Um, you'll see the back side of uh, the rest of that piping, where it goes to, where it comes out of. So it goes through the wall, which had to be cored out. Um, I think we had to hire someone to, to like do some coring through the concrete walls and stuff like that so we could get our pipes through. They've been working on these strut racks, all that good stuff. So this is going back to its power source um, and they like wrap around the corner or whatever. I'm not sure which direction they go. There's a whole bunch of different pipes and I'm not... 100% sure on everything that they've been working on down here, but I know it's been a lot of pipes because that's all they've been doing. But anyways, they have been piping out of these electrical, um, well, they, they're they going to be setting a box right here um, or a switch key or something like that. So this is where the power is going to originate from, and then it goes back into the hallway like I just showed you. I'm kind of saying this in reverse, but it's going into the hallway. I think some of them go to the left and might wrap around. I'm not sure. Um, or they go out a different direction, and then this is just a general um, showing you guys what this stuff looks like. Um, did a shutdown on here on one of these breakers before. Can't remember which one. Um, and then the had to lock out the second power source right here, which is the transfer switch. Um, so I had to lock out that one, and then there was like a third place that we had to lock out for that shutdown at midnight. So I'll show you guys that, which is this little breaker right here. But like I was saying, there is, um, for the piping that they've been working on, some of it goes to the hallway, which goes down to this right side, which I'm showing you right now. And I don't know if some of it wraps around to the left, which doesn't really make sense. 
because that would be like a whole like 270 degrees when they could just core through the wall and take a 90 out the back. So anyways, I'm not sure on all the directions that the pipes are going, but some of them 90 through this wall above these blue pipes. And then I believe it looks like they go to the left. I've never really walked in here uh, before it was contained. So I'm assuming that they go into here because otherwise they go nowhere else. And I'll show you that back in a second, but this is uh, kind of their lay down down here on the tunnel level. They got a whole bunch of pipes, gang boxes, and then a whole bunch of other trades. But this is where all the fans are for like surgery, for the surgery tower, I believe, or something like that. This is where we had our giant midnight shutdown one time. If you guys remember that video, this is that area where we did the shutdown at midnight and shut down one of these um, buckets over here. Shut that off over there. And then also had to shut off a few other breakers and some of these other panels that were back feeding it. So anyways, that was a recap of that. And then to end off the video, I believe this is where those pipes turn down through this little crack above the plastic. You can kind of see it looks like they all just kind of waterfall down into a future um, PowerPoint or panel point. So anyways, I think that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Sorry for the late upload. Uh, had some things I had to tend to after work. Anyways, thanks for watching. God bless. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.